Hey guys, Jeremy here from How To Hockey. Thanks a lot for checking out the very first instructor feature video. This is a new series that I'm doing on the channel where I meet up with some of the best hockey instructors in the industry and I talk to them about their philosophies, record some of their drills, and pass on some of their best information. So I'm meeting with the best, getting their best, and then passing on to you to give you guys the best hockey information I can find. So this first feature is with Jim Vitale. I've been working with him for a really long time. Uh, one of the best hockey trainers in the Toronto area. So let's head over to Vaughn, Ontario. That's where he trains out of. And get on the ice and pass on some of that hockey knowledge. Hi, I'm Jim Vitale. I've been coaching for 22 years in Ontario. I've had some great jobs coaching at the university level, junior A hockey, and minor hockey in Vaughan. How long have you been doing the uh, skills camps for? I've been running vital hockey skills since 1996. And uh, what are some of your philosophies? What sort of stuff do you teach out there on the ice? I think it's important to recognize with skill development that to learn a skill, you have to know which muscles to use. To master a skill, you have to learn which muscles to turn off. So it's important to get the idea that the higher up you go in skill development, the more responsible you need to be to only activate the muscles you need and become more efficient in turning the antagonist muscles off. We've been doing outside edge work all day, and you know the point of it is to put pressure on your outside of your boot. So I want to make sure that guys have their heads up and that they're lining up their upper skeleton with their lower skeleton the right way. They're not bending their backs and that you're putting pressure on the outside of your boot. So we're going to start out, skate out to the blue line. Everybody's going the same way. You're going to be going out toward the stands on your left leg and you're going to be balancing on one leg with your knee up. So you're going to skate out Two hands on your stick, head up, balance, and try to put as much pressure on your blade as possible. Two hands again, head up, and then cross over. Don't lean on that stick. I tend to really focus on edge work. That's one of my specialties. I like to work on agility with players and pretty dynamic puck handling. You're gonna go outside edge still. We're gonna put pressure on our outside edge this time. Still two hands on your stick. Still make sure you're turning your shoulders in the direction that you're going. But now it's one leg to the other. So you're going like this, head up, one leg and then cross, and then switch legs. After you cross, turn your head. Cross, turn your head. All control. Turn your head. Outside edge. A little bit of inside edge pressure. Let's see who can cut the ice here. Okay, the one where you put your fist down, you're gonna lean your fist down on the ice. Get your body leaning. Okay, instead of staying upright, Test your limits. Get yourself leaning over, get that fist down, and get that outside leg bearing all the weight so that you're cutting the ice. We're all turning that way. Get down low, head up. Drive that fist in, okay? Drive that fist down. Push, push, push. Get up and go. Good. I think anything where you're promoting uh, agile, quick lateral movement, as well as heads up hockey, where you can get kids to not have to look down at the puck and be able to control it confidently um, and effortlessly down the ice. Those are the type of things that I think are the best to try to implement and practice to get them to be seamless in a game situation. Keep on inside edge. First, we're gonna do one leg, side to side jump. I wanna see how much power you guys have gotten this week. Okay, so you're tucking your leg, you're getting low, 
and you're trying to get as much lateral distance as possible, pushing off that entire leg. Start from your hip, work through your, your thigh, and go all the way down to your ankle. Snap that ankle at the end, squeeze out every last bit of power from that stored energy in your leg, okay? So two hands on your stick again, and you want to keep your chin up so you're not dropping your head. I know when you work hard, you want to stare at your feet. Don't do it, okay? Keep your head up. So you're coming here, you're reaching, you're exploding out, exploding out, explode. So if you're not inside the ice, you won't be able to jump. So when you're coming around, you have to push, 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 so that your foot gets into the ice and gives you something to spring off of. Listen, this is the wrong way. You hear anything? No, and that's why I got nothing to jump off of. I'm not inside the ice. Listen. You hear that? What does that mean? Right, so as I cut, then I jump. Right? As you cut, you jump. Okay? Go. Cut. Cut. Cut that ice. Cut that ice. We've basically been focusing a lot on edge work, so it's the last day of the camp, and I want to make sure the kids are on their way to at least continuing to practice what they've learned. So uh, putting a lot of pressure on the outside edge, um, having their head up and keeping their back straight when they're going from forward to backward, um, agility, making sure that their steps are as big as possible and that they're maximizing their reach in their stride. We haven't done this one this week. So now not only one push, but then you gotta cycle back with a second push. So you're pushing twice. Okay, and then you're jumping on the third. Push, push, jump. Push, push, jump. Push, push, jump. Nice. Nice. So you're on one leg, you're not allowed to put the other leg down from the blue line as far as you can. If you can go blue line all the way to the far red line, Perfect. Pump. Okay, turn it over. Go. Oh, just a little bit outside, inside edge. Trying to combine both. Not let them use any balance or any stable positions. Just you get them to lean and fight gravity till it becomes a friend. Do you find uh, kids of all ages can do this drill? Well, not really. A lot of them, in the beginning, they're a little bit reluctant to actually test out their edges. They kind of stay flat on their blade. Um, as they get older and they realize falling down isn't a weakness, it actually is a sign of strength to push yourself to that point. They're a little bit more willing, right? Yep. We do one hour of skating to start off the day, followed by one hour of puck handling technique. There are no pylons in any of those hours. Um, we break for lunch and we do one hour of goal scoring and creativity and then we finish the day with a grueling hour of conditioning, which is always a lot of fun. Okay, so round all four. Let's see how quick you guys have become, how much you trust your outside edges, how much you're gonna get that outside, outside leg up and over to allow that bottom leg a chance to actually dig. All the stuff you learned this week, okay? Do it right, we'll have a scrimmage, but I wanna see it done properly. Go! To the right! It's a series of overspeed drills that we do. I uh, got it from a book produced by USA Hockey. And they're just drills that get kids to understand how to accelerate on angles. Right? So they set their path. Go! And then they cross over through the uh, circular path. By keeping them on their edges the entire time, eh? You gotta have focus on that outside edge. And you gotta make sure that you're just pushing. It's a little scrimmage at the end of the camp. Yeah, you gotta keep it fun, right? Kids gotta enjoy coming. I, mean, I love to go business all the time and uh, just keep pushing the improvement envelope, but if kids don't enjoy coming, then they're not gonna be motivated to work for you, so just gotta make sure you whew, dangle that carrot at the end, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
I guess uh, four hours on the ice each day. Give them a little scrimmage at the end. They love it. That's all it is, right? We run our hockey sessions um, throughout the year in terms of privates and semi-privates. We run our camps, uh, winter break, March break, and we do five weeks every summer. That's it for the first video in the series. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because we have more videos like this coming up. Next one is with Max Ivanov. He personally trains Malkin, Crosby, and the Pittsburgh Penguins. I definitely want to check out those videos. If you want to work with Jim Vitale from Vital Hockey Skills, I'll put the link in the video description to his camp. Thanks a lot for watching the video. We'll see you in the next one. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at my phone. Remember that movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who was that? Cold? No.